everyone, Neil Carlson here with a 4 a.m. look at weather conditions in the Northern Valley where we're in a blizzard warning. Uh, this is Crookston at uh, 4 a.m. Highway 2 en route to Grand Forks. We'll take a look at the road out here. It's bad in town, so I'm expecting it's uh, like the DOT uh, weather sign up here might actually be operating today. We'll take a look to make sure the road's still open here. But in Grand Forks at uh, this hour at 4 a.m., road closed, Crookston to East Grand Forks. Here's a sign up here. At 4 a.m., uh, what is it, 8 degrees in Grand Forks, 39 miles per hour wind, wind gusts of 55 miles per hour. So if you're planning that drive to work this morning, morning commute in the Northern Valley, DOT here saying road is closed between Crookston and East Grand Forks Highway 2 closed. If that sign's able to read that or not, kind of blur it out there, but uh, according to the DOT, the road is closed here, Highway 2, Crookston to Grand Forks. For those of you who are planning to uh, work today, So, we'll go up to the UMC curve up here, but National Weather Service says this uh, cold front and high winds moved down a bit faster than they thought it was going to. Uh, at 4 a.m. Fargo's already started getting these high winds too, that was expected to hit a little bit later, but uh, up and down the valley now, a blizzard warning, uh, basically from uh, north of Grand Forks from Grafton all the way south down to uh, South Dakota on either side of the river. A blizzard warning extends a little farther uh, uh, west on the west side of the river, uh, past out to Valley City, and uh, Crookston's on the edge of what they're calling the blizzard warning on the east side of the river. So. But as you can see, we're going to get to whiteout conditions up here. We're not going to. This is all, almost a sheltered area here. Uh, I'm not going to go out into the uh, open area, but uh, you can see things not looking good. Highway too closed from between Crookston and East Grand Forks on this Wednesday morning. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.